Welcome back to the culmination of week two here at this Smite Pro League. We're going to be watching the newly founded COG roster try their medal against the uh, rather seasoned AFK Gaming. Yeah, but I'm sorry. I'm still reeling after that last set. It, it was phenomenal. I, I hope this set can be just half as exciting. I, I have no hopes for that. It, that was the it, best it, set of Smite that we have seen in probably since Worlds. Like outside of that's probably the best regular season games we've seen ever. Yeah, like lands. Maybe it's a different story, but regular season, that, that was phenomenal. But like you said, COG versus AFK coming up. AFK, I mean, they're still sitting at the top. The question here is, can this newly founded COG roster beat a top team? Well, we're going to find out here. Let's take a look at the boys of Cognitive Gaming. Yeah, Meerkat remaining in the solo lane. DJ Pernicus in the best, a great addition. And then Aurora and Kabam combining. And this is kind of like three sets of players culminating to this team. Kabam yeah. and Aurora were a dual lane for Fat Chunks and Civil. DJ Pernicus in the best have been looking for teams ever since the end of the summer split, but wanting to play together. And then Meerkat remaining on here. Cog was able to sneak a game away from Eager last week, though. That's true. I mean, they're showing a lot of promise, but they're now going to be going up against the number one seed in North... Or, I'm sorry, now number two seed. Number two. TSM is number one. The number two seed in North America, and that's going to be uh, the semi-unstoppable AFK Gaming. And I honestly don't feel like AFK Gaming will be number two seed. I think this team is going to be... Why are none of them smiling? I, who knows? What are they frowning about? Like, Kiki, I've never seen him They didn't before. make worlds. They, that's, that's been their face ever since they, <laughs> they didn't make worlds last season but this team I feel like this is the best online team we have in Smite right now really I, I think they're that good Lan I think other teams Epsilon? play to their level more than anything Epsilon Epsilon's pretty good too, Epsilon's though. <laughs> pretty good though uh, game one's gonna be starting here in just a second remember uh, COG has had a, a rocky start although they have shown promise AFK right now I think remains undefeated yes they're currently 4-0 uh, this is going to be their first double header they played was it it was enemy earlier this week right so Cognitive Gaming will have option. Cog, let's see if they want to play Al Kwong, basically. Play oh. it taken away from Allied in no no waste of time. <laughs> I could I could hear Allied in my head go, come on, bitch, play it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I expect AFK to ban away Al Kwong here, and yeah. that is going to be... what it, the, only, the only team I've seen just basically say, we know how to counter Al, was Epsilon. And that, that Salvation, though. Yeah, Salvation, and it was... Um, who did they run jungle? I can't remember call. Oh, I don't remember. It, it was something. Uh, Athena taken away by Cog as well. So uh, not a god we're seeing banned away too often, but it's always a smart ban Still away a from AFK. Ares going to be banned away from Cog, uh, shutting down Aurora here. Wow. Okay, I did not. I, I feel that. like the Ares bans are more like we don't get to practice against Ares that often, and especially in North America. North America doesn't really run Ares like Europe does. So a, a lot of what I'm looking at in this match is going to be Meerkat versus Cyclone Spin. It's almost always blank versus Cyclone Spin. Now, we knew the Bologna pick was going to come out here. Now, do they give this to Meerkat and hope that he can beat Cyclone Spin with it? Or do they give it to the jungle for the better rotation prowess and then give Meerkat a, a different warrior or assassin to try his best against Cyclone? I feel like they're drafting this for a flex, quote-unquote. But in all reality, this is going to Meerkat. Geb going to be locked away here for AFK. Uh, I like this pick. Geb always known as a very strong character. Decent damage in the endgame with the shockwave after Cataclysm. Uh, good control and the shield, you know, there, there's just not enough you could say about it. Sir Ket locked in as well. That's going to be going to weaken in this the jungle. This is his premier god. This is his best god. I mean, or or it was for a long time. And I really think he's enjoying this meta back to where he can play these assassins. He no longer has to wow, play the whoa. warriors trying to protect Cyclone Spin. Sylvanas is available. Bacchus, maybe not the strangest pick in the whole world, but second? But Sylvanas is available. See, Janus, that's a completely normal pick. But Bacchus, wow, okay, so Cognitive. Um, mainly Aurora here, looking for something crazy. Or it could be a Bacchus jungle. I don't, this is not Shing. Come Shing, on. Shing I'll give it to. It's DJ Pernicus. Yeah, but he's it's not. Just, they're the same person. <laughs> no, they're not. They're just different in size. Oh, man, I can hear them both just, like, hating you for that comment. You did not just tell – you did not call me J.J. Pernicus. You did not call me Shing. Like, that's what they're saying. Hades locked in. That could be going to the solo, but more than likely, it's going to be going to Kiki. Ever since we've seen Hades drafted by AFK, Kiki has played it phenomenally. And it's, it's interesting, right, because it's a lane dominator. Normally, you just yeah. want it to shut down an enemy solo laner and then get fed, but – 
AFK electing to draft the big AOE wow, presence. Wow, Cognitive does not believe you. Uh, they think that Kiki is not going to be taking Hades, uh, and that it's going to be Cyclone Spin. They ban away Isis. Yep, Kali also taken out by AFK Gaming. Shibalanke going to be locked here for Allied. Loves his hyper carries, yes. man. Loves that is, it. he just likes sitting in lane farming and then just being one of the best team fighting hunters in the game. If not, no. The best. What, what he likes is like, oh, dude, it's thirty six minutes. I'll be right there. Sorry, I was farming. Yeah. And then he just goes and kills everybody. Yeah, he's got Deathbringer and Rage online. I Rat expected this. Oscar. I expected this. In, and this is going to the. What do you think? Jungle this is DJ. Or solo? This okay. is, I think DJ is the best Ratatoskar in the game right now. Wow. Yeah. Giving him that. Okay. And it's going to be Neath uh, over in the dual lane. So I like a, that. a lot of global presence and mobility coming out. From well, Cognitive Not gaming. to mention, Neath it just absolutely body Shibalanke in the early game. And Fenrir. It is going to be Hades mid. Oh, it could be Fenrir no, mid. I don't. See, that's the, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's the thing with AFK. Who knows? Their comp is The nonsense. only thing I'm 100% sure of is that it's going to be Shibalanke and Geb. Outside of that, who, who really knows? And before AFK? Geb jungle, Fenrir support. Dude, Geb solo is not a joke. Yeah, Geb solo. I, I'll give you Have that. Have you seen the build? with the You go Mystical Mail and then Boots... Right? And then you go into Telkines. Brad, Brad in production right now is in our ears. Yeah, I lost to one of those in ranked. What, Geb Solo? <laughs> yeah, apparently. <laughs> yeah, it's confirmed. Brad loses to Geb Solo. Cog versus AFK, though. We're going to get into the first game of action. And it is going to be Hades mid. And we will see Cyclone Spin taking Fenrir to the jungle. Or to I, the Solo, excuse me. I feel real bad for Meerkat. Sir Ket and Fenrir. Like, what do you do? He's going to get camped. I mean, he better leave the base with beads. Yeah, he bought beads. <laughs> like, he better do it. I, I really like that decision. I mean, you look at the pressure that uh, with this same, uh, a similar team cop, this is actually the same lineup that Cloud9 ran against Denial, and they shut down, I believe it was a Blona as well in the yep. solo lane. I mean, this is AFK Gaming and Cloud9 right now are running these shutdown solo comps, and Sir Ket is the key to it. Buying beads is going to at least allow him to survive the first gank. Kabam, though, on Neath could be in some trouble if Sir Ket makes early rotations, and we know that we can tend to do that on, on occasion. It could be an instant kill. Kabam and Aurora here. It looks like they're just trying to grab these mid camps. I don't think they're going to go for mids. Oh, no, they are. Okay. Yeah. They were, I guess they were seeing if their ward would pick any up, uh, pick any trouble up. Maybe they wanted to try and fight if AFK had, had elected to go that. The question, though, is are they going to invade this attack speed? Typically, if we're seeing these dual lanes go for mid camps, they almost always go and invade the enemy attack speed buff, but that doesn't seem to be the case. They're going to play it safe. So doing the paradigm start, but slightly changed, they had best on the speed buff, and they had, ra I'm sorry, uh, Bologna do the camps by herself, uh, considering Bludgeon is the a very AOE. fast clear. Yeah, so that, that's just timing-wise, that's just going to clear the jungle faster. All the players get the same amount of experience sharing both those two camps. DJ, rotating to these mid-camps oh, weak and not no. going to let him get it for free, though. All right, so Smart, he applies the Blight. I, I like that he waited. Doesn't get either. I think DJ got both of those. He got at least one for sure. He definitely got the first one. I, I, I cannot tell what these are. No, that, it's an up and then a down. I think uh, I thought he got that auto attack off in the second one. Good play by DJ Pernicus, though. Hades going to be dominating this lane for a while, and DJ actually doesn't get hit by any ticks of that Deathbane. A little bit of a misplay coming out from Weaken. They're going to be able to go into the jungle, though. Even with the superior push, they can miss everything that they want as long as they get those creeps down. They're going to get the back camps and then back into wave immediately. Kabam. How, how is Alex. this happening? I was wondering that too. Neath should have the superior clear here, especially versus a Jablanke. But then again, Bacchus is clear at this stage is horrible compared to Gebs. Yeah. And it looks like eh, this this should this should start evening out once once Neath gets a, a little bit higher level. But she took all three abilities here, so once she's level four and has the level two spirit arrow. That's that's when we'll see the difference. Yeah. I also believe because of their start, they were a little bit slower to lane, so likely allied and in, Khan. In got that early first wave push and it allows them to group up the minions and, and, and until that full clear comes through we'll, we'll see this. So taking a look at Allied's build here you see the uh, the Devourer's Gauntlet's getting started here. Now this could be Soul Eater. Yeah and we have seen players rush into boots after this. Ooh an invade by Weaken though trying to catch DJ in his own jungle. Ooh, Deathbane hits that time oh, geez. and that's a huge proc off They're going to lose their red for passive. that. They will lose their red for that. There's no way that DJ can go back in. Best might be able to stop it but it's not. Nope. I don't think it's worth the risk, it's especially not. when the dual lane for Cog is already pushed back. There's there's no chance that they're going to be able to defend that, and that's it'd be basically walking in a first blood. Jumping in here, look at the the route taken by Kiki all the way to the end here, and he's probably going to lose one creep to one. gold. Yeah, not bad, not and bad at all. The players get it too. 
Kiki hits level five. Sir Kent, not there yet. Oh, there it is. Just needed that last minion. She's level five right now. I think she's going to start walking over to this solo lane. Oh, Meerkat going to be for it. Uh oh, he used his beads with Weaken coming over. Does he realize what's happening? I think he does. I think he has to, yeah. And you can even see him kind of like he peering doesn't. over to the. Oh, he's, gotta leave. He knows there, there's something here. Dude, Weaken will there's wait forever. Here. He I, will. I, I has, he has been in my ranks. He has, he has no wards. Meerkat knows Cyclone's, something's up. Cyclone's going to stun. Watch this. As the ambush comes out. Meerkat's having none of it, dude. Meerkat is like, this is... I I watched you guys play Cloud9. You're not getting me with this same <laughs> trick. Meerkat's in range for experience, and you can even see him getting it there. Very smart. Very smart to wait. Wasted a lot of Weekend's time, too. To be fair, DJ Pernicus didn't have much to do. We're going to have a 2v3 here. Aurora's in. Knock up. Actually, a big intoxicating Incon already under half. There's the Fear No Evil coming through. Ooh, Aurora's, Aurora's down. First blood. Kiki gets ulted, but he sends the ult to Weaken. Best running away. I think they're going to wash that out. They get not only the camp, it seems, uh, but first blood as well. AFK takes the lead. Yeah, a big pillar of agony. Not not Fear No Evil, surprisingly. Uh, coming out from Kiki, just locks Aurora in place Did after his no jump. Evil? No, I said Fear oh. No Evil. I'm like, oh, I, I was like, I don't know what that is. That's definitely a pillar of agony. <laughs> Sir Cat also going to be grabbing these right camps. So AFK taking slight leads across the map after getting their first blood, continuing to control the jungle. Back camp going to be taken here. Right side blue buffs have respawned. You see Weekend's already on top of it. DJ Pernick is late, though. He's backing to the base. Uh, Bologna's going to start it. Will Cyclone Spin allow this to happen? Uh, I don't think he... Yeah, I think he just wants to safely grab his own blue. He doesn't really know where DJ is. Not worth the risk, especially with the health he's at. And Meerkat's done a fantastic job of bullying out Cyclone Spin in this in this lane matchup. Are we going to see Cyclone go back to lane here? Wow, they're not going to take the speed. Weekend's going to back to the base off that. So the reason why... While it will spawn faster if he takes it, he'd rather have more use out of it because otherwise he would be clearing the speed and then backing, wasting about 30 seconds of the buff that he could have been using aggressively. DJ Pernicus going to get his speed buff. Start rotating through as well. Mid can't still have a while. Uh, and we have a pause coming out from Cog. Quick timeout to uh, Kabam having some no, troubles. it's not a timeout. It's a timeout. No, it's a pause. It even, it even says game pause, not Yeah, because of a timeout. timeout. You can't timeout, though. Yes, you can. That's, there's no tactical. The, the time is currently stopped. That's what timeout means, man. You're going to be in timeout. So I really want to see some ganks come out from <laughs> DJ Perdicus soon, especially in conjunction with, with Kabom's ult. You know, we saw Neath drafted a lot by Titan back in the summer split. and they, who, they had who, these... are they, who are they ganking? Hades? You're going you're gonna to try to waste all those ults at Hades? I mean, realistically, it should be invading into Sir Cat, but it's a little bit risky. I just think with their global presence, the fact that they're especially not using Neath early on could hurt them. Man, Hades, huh? He he looks uh, he looks hard. Look at he had to use two moves there to clear the wave. How did he how did he know how to do all that? Crazy. Um, Neath can Neath can use one almost. <laughs> it's a little bit different because he doesn't Neath doesn't get healed to literally a hundred percent every time he does it. Hades he's so destructive in this he meta. He really is. It's he's such a pain in the ass to fight. I mean, there's no other way to put it. It's, you can't it's a you nightmare. can't kill me if he's baited once again though. Here we, we can go. sit Look here. Meerkat doesn't know what's happening this time. Okay, he's done. Good Eagles rally. Beads off for six more seconds, and there's the Neath arrow. Oh, used defensively instead of aggressively here. Both hunters actually ulted for that one. Yeah. Didn't get a lot of use out of that speed buff so far. He's going to start rotating in. Still has his ultimate available to him, does Weaken. And he's going to be mainly looking for best here. I think he might loop back around. Yeah, you can see him taking oh, that path God. back into the jungle. Speeds are up for Meerkat, though. They've, they've, oh, no, he used him. I think he just used them. Yeah. He just used Yeah, them. Meerkat used it against the Ragnarok, yeah. Okay. Oh, no, again. DJ, though, he's going to know something's up. He's coming from the top side. And actually, Sir Cat's going to go right under him there. They're going to find Got each him. other in the jungle. Deathbane comes out. DJ Ulted. actually walks into a Beautiful. wall. Actually, he might not. Be. Yeah, he's dead. Okay. Yeah, true damage too much there. I forgot that that was also a second and a half to get out of there. Yeah, uh, DJ Pernick has actually dashed into a wall there, unfortunately. A rough life. Uh, and we oh, was able to uh -oh. find him. Wow, best. A little bit lucky there. A little bit farther, and that could have been a Pillar of Agony. Aurora, though, his jump's down, and there's the Pillar of Agony. Aurora's going nowhere. This is just going to be a free kill. Another kill right there. This one going to Kiki. 4,200 gold right now, and this is a character that will do very well with early game gold. Things like Warlock Sash take a long time to get online, and he's generally going to be stacking. 
He he could go many directions, though. He went boots first. He didn't really telegraph it by going something else. AFK Gaming, though, they're after taking that kill, they're going to walk into the jungle and steal two camps. Wow. This is something they do so often. Can we check we in with mid lane? From so many teams. Five You're going to see um, three archers. So he did lose three creeps. So he lost three creeps for a kill and two camps. That is a damn good trade, man. I I'll take it any day of the week. Right side, mid camps. It looks like Pernicus and Best got this one. Small wins, small victories. And really, with three kills, they're not that far behind. No, I mean this is this is the summer split, right? It's or or the beginning of the fall split. The change in the meta, kills aren't worth that much outside of first blood. It's it's all about the camps you steal afterwards. Game so, only about 800 gold difference too, which is pretty impressive. I mean that 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 at this stage with three kills down, only 800 gold. That shows a lot of strength from Cog's ability to farm. A lot of it, farm. especially, you take a look at Meerkat. Meerkat has a, actually a 400 gold lead on Cyclone Spin. He continues to bully this lane out. Which is surprising to me that Cyclone's getting pushed out as hard as he is, especially with Weekend camping that lane as hard as he is. Weekend, speaking of camping that lane, already back. Meerkat, though, he's trying to back. The question is, is he going to get cut off? Nope, it looks like they're just going to farm up that wave over on right. Best in Aurora. Together here in mid lane. No one's splitting this back camp with Pern, though. Right side back camps have spawned as well. Gold Fury is still available. No one even gesturing towards it yet. No, I don't think we're going to see that for quite some time. The only times you really see teams try and go for it is if they have these big AoE burst ultimates like Ymir and like Isis. But it looks like AFK, they're going to be walking over wards, but they're starting to put pressure on the left side here. Left camp's not up for quite some time. Nothing going to be gained there. Do we have a sentry ward now on the Gold Fury? Is no. that what Incon was doing? It looked like he cleared a ward, but I don't... Okay, yeah, it's right under them. I, I can't even see it, Incon. <laughs> it's right under the Gold Fury. I hate you. I hate all you, all you people who do that. Just put it in the middle hey, so hey. I can clear it. What do you mean by you people? Uh, at anyone. Any, any of you supports and junglers who ward on the Gold Fury oh, hate okay. you all. All right, that's fine then. Just put it in the front so I can counter it easier. <laughs> Unless it's Sylvanas. Sylvanas don't care. Yeah. Sylvanas just like, I'll hit everything. <laughs> I was going to hit the Gold Fury anyway. Like, what does it matter? <laughs> uh, still no ganks coming out from DJ Pernicus and, and Neat so far, but here's something going on. Ew, that hurts. Bass trying to get out of there. Just will. Aurora still stuck inside, taking a lot of damage. Belly flops away. Death from below. And, ooh, Kiki finding the kill with the Devour Souls. Just think if this was Sylvanas. I mean, so Gold far, Fury. AFK have just been destroying Bacchus. Anytime Aurora jumps in they immediately turn on they recognize that he's not that tanky so he's been in the background getting very aggressive uh Zayden, he's chasing down let's see he sent away dj pernicus completely yeah and he's just it's not even just zoning it's all of cognitive gaming had to rotate to dj to try and make sure he can get out all the while afk gaming takes a cat taking some damage here cobra's kiss on down great damage return right there sending a lot his way but he's very tanky mystical male doing work as well they might Cyclone be a, could be in trouble. No, he, he has way too much mobility. Ragnarok's down, but I don't I don't think they that Meerkat and Bess are going to be able to combine for the damage, especially when he's that close to his tower. And you can see him just walk out of that fairly safely. But right now, AFK Gaming leading by about 2,300 gold. Yeah, plus another 3,000 experience. Now, uh, Meerkat doing well in his lane, but again, you know, pushing this as far as he can, using that Bologna. The problem is, is Ratatoskr is not a character that functions well from behind. Uh, very gold, very level reliance. Uh, we do see him going into Opal, it seems, so he's looking for that burst damage. Speaking of, like, the level difference behind, actually, Meerkat, one versus two, and Weekend's rotating over as well. The question is, can he get out of here? Neethal coming through once again defensively. Meerkat actually ults in place. There's nowhere for him to go, though. Misses the bludgeon. Probably wasn't going to finish Ooh, off Incon. Okay, but... Incon very low here. Pern will find the return kill with the dart. Cyclone spin. He doesn't have a lot of mana. Maybe enough, though. One more dash should finish him off. He's actually juking really well. Nice and Kiki's going to lock him in place. Cyclone spin. He might get out. Aurora's going to try and Aurora. find the kill in the back. The jump's going to miss. But there's the intoxicate. But he's likely to fall here. He has spent a lot. Beautiful dash by Kiki. Remember, when Blighted will be a slow. A lot of damage coming to Aurora. Actually, he should be safe here. Yeah, now that he's got Breastplate online, or starting up Breastplate there, he's just a little bit too tanky for them to deal with. Kabam on the backside, Allied, running though. away. Kabam slowed. He's taking a lot. He's going to need two more hits, though. Hits the wow. one, but not the second. Just barely. So Kabam very smart to keep running as well. 
uh, putting enough distance between him and the jungle to make sure he could see any invades coming in. Allied will be in a good spot for some free clear. And he's also rotating. Okay, I almost thought he was going to try and steal the red, but he's just going to clear the wave out pretty safely. Man, Hades doing work this game. Kiki, 3-0-2, and on a boy nonetheless. Hey, that's, that's been the story so far, right? I mean, Kiki's been playing guys. I don't know what's Poseidon, wrong. Poseidon, Opwash, if that counts. Yeah, kind of. Kind of. Uh. He's Besides a, a fish, though, like, what is that? <laughs> I mean, I mean, no one's like, an, uh, very few are actual humans. They're all gods. That's fair. Or worldly beings. Taking a look, though, and it was the Warlock Sash, like you were talking about, coming out for Kiki in the mid lane, and he got that so early. I mean, it's already 22 stacks at 12 minutes. Usually, this is a 16-minute timing. Right? Oh, my. Look at Best. Best is level 11 as well. He's... He's 1,500 behind this mid lane right now. He's Best has just been getting out farmed. Oh, World Weaver to the right side just to deter. So, uh, so this is this is what the Neath came for, right? At first, I thought it was to for DJ to be aggressive and find ganks, but this has been used solely on this right side. Every time Weaken walks over to gank Meerkat, they throw out the Neath ult to try and deter that aggression. By the way, shout out to Kiki right there. For those of you who might have missed it, he throws one hit onto a roar to group the wave up and then fears everything and kills it as opposed to splitting his DPS. Very smart. Kiki, though, he's being aggressive. Actually, all of AFK, weak and looping around the side here. They're looking to steal away this speed buff. You know, you'll, he, I'm sorry, Kiki will have noticed that TJ Pernicus doesn't have it adorned to him right now. This is going to allow them to continue pressuring if they choose. It looks like they want to as well. Cyclone spin. Queen back in. Looks like we have a quick pause here coming out. Uh, yeah. So we're going to fix these technical get difficulties, get right back into the game uh, as soon as we can. All right. So what number do you think I'm thinking of from 1 to 10? Four. Yes. It's always four. Um, so we have, a, we have a pretty textbook game going so far for AFK. They have a decent lead. Uh, Kiki doing brilliantly so far in the mid lane. Yeah, Kiki has been playing great, and really all of AFK, it's it's really been tr uh, trained down Aurora every time he rotates. Aurora, he's jumping in, trying to find initiates, but they're not able to burst Kiki down. I mean, he's Hades, right? He's super tanky, and that was before he had Warlock Sash online. <laughs> yeah. The second Aurora's jump is down, Kiki goes on him, always locks him in place with and his ult. That's really smart, because normally you don't want to spend a lot into tanks or guardians, you know, especially from the support role, but shutting down a Bacchus in the early game just makes him useless. Another thing, too, too, is he's he's going sovereignty right he's going the typical build you're having on supports that's not going to be very effective against kiki once kiki gets uh, his warlock sash stacked up which is already at, i believe about 30 yeah. he's going to start chunking aurora and and best too right best is only level 11 in the mid lane right now afk gaming they haven't, like, just won huge fights. They've just found the picks, stole camps, and then got that early gold. I mean, a lot of that comes down to the fact that AFK's rotations have been very, very strong. Yes. Uh, Weekend coming in, getting the Cobra's Kiss, wasting beads. You know, Cyclone spins uh, full rotation from the top right all the way to the bottom yep. left to push out Pern and then push away Kabam to, to allow his team to get the Gold Fury. Meerkat was nowhere near it. By the time Cyclone Spin had done all of that, Pern had, I'm sorry, uh, Meerkat had barely, barely crossed the threshold of mid lane. Yeah, this is the AFK gaming that we're used to seeing. This is what we expect to see, this real dominant force. I told you, I think these are the best online players we have right now, and they're continuing to prove it. Now, COG, they're new, but they had a very strong showing against Eager, who just went toe-to-toe -to -toe with TSM, yeah. and then AFK Gaming is just beating them, like, handily. handedly. Yeah. Um, so we want to know what you guys think out there in the chat as well. Give us hashtag AFK or hashtag COG. We're going to take a quick break. We'll come back in just do a I, minute. Do I throw the cards now? Stick around. Or do I wait for game three? All right, everybody, welcome back. Sorry about that. We are back with the action. Cognitive still down uh, by five kills. Nothing has changed since the last time you joined us. AFK Gaming still pressuring onto this speed buff. DJ Pernicus trying to defend it. Four members of COG grouped up. Aurora has ha been forced to rotate over to this right-hand side just so DJ can four-way split his speed buff. Uh, mid camp's going to be taken, though, for free. Speed buff still a bit available. Weaken Incon going to walk over there. Will Kiki split as well? No, he's going to retreat back to mid. No, he's got his mid wave. There, there's no... Don't get that greedy, Kiki. You're already far enough ahead. With Kiki seeing best going back there, he has free clear, which is going to allow him to rotate to the back camps as well. You see him uh, start dashing over there. Actually, he might be backing with his uh, posturing. No, he's going for the camps. 
Okay, yeah, just just get as much XP. Another rotation over onto Meerkat, though. Meerkat's going to sniff it out. Incon's here as well, actually. Weekend, he's going to blink over the wall. Can he find it? Wow, There's the taunt. They're going really deep for this. And they forced thought, out an ultimate. That's good. Every single time. And Weekend knew it. The second that Neethalt came through, jumps away. That did a lot of damage. He's just, uh, you know, I, I actually do like this Neeth pick coming up just to try and defend the aggression, but at the same time, sometimes, ooh, beads are down. Yeah, he had already used them. Decent damage. Meerkat, very smart to use the Scourge to answer some of that damage back with healing, but uh, DJ Pernicus trying to make the play here. And there's what actually the jump from doing? Cyclone Spin. DJ Pernicus looking to steal away the speed buff, but they have no timer on that. Well, they had a roar spotting it. I mean, they should have noted that it was already down at that point. Remember, uh, he went into the right lane. Meerkat should have been telling him that it was a waste of time. Now, we do have the Opal online. Uh, what do you think DJ's going to go into next? Are, are we looking right for crit? Going to go for the Frostbound Hammer? Could be Golden Bow. He could also go Jotuns. Just get that cooldown online. Oh, no, no, no. No Penetration. No, 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 no Jotuns. No, no Jotuns? No, it's 25% CDR on the Acorn. Oh, I forgot about that. You're yeah. right. You're yeah. right. Don't want to overcap that. Knock up by Aurora, Aurora likely just going to be jumping over this wall. But, you know, he's going to take a lot of damage, and that's going to delay a huge amount of time. You take a look at Gold Fury, already under half. Best is roaming over, though. Spirit Gun. It's going to come through. It's actually going to do a lot of damage oh, to Allied. So Threads lucky. the needle there. So lucky. In AFK Gaming, they secure the Gold Fury, but his Allied there. Stopped. He's like, oh, my God. <laughs> oh. Dude, his, his heart had to have stopped there. That had to have been enough damage. I mean, Unstable Vortex, Chunks, oh, yeah. oh, Best absolutely. has pin boots. He's got, he's got Kronos. That would have been a kill. Oh, absolutely. That also would have reset would've gold, been. too. Yeah, it would have. So uh, AFK, uh, again, a little lucky. That's very lucky that that happened. Kabomb. Oh, he actually hits the double oh, thought. Wow. There's Deathbane, a roar. He's going to jump. But, you know, he got forced back there because of that ultimate. Oh, OK. Weekend. That's not going to be enough damage, and it's going to be blocked out anyway by Allied. Allied's like, I don't have any mod. I'm going back to the base anyway. Let me grab that for you. Uh, Meerkat actually going to take away this tower as Cyclone Spin actually rotated to mid lane, expecting a team fight to break out. This is what we see a lot from Cyclone Spin. Uh, when he thinks that something's about to happen, he forces the issue. There's actually a blink. Uh, DJ dashing away just barely. Oh, and he doesn't get caught. Nice double dash, and he gets up into the sky. Beautiful play by Bull. Yeah, Brutalize more than likely would have finished oh, him okay. off. I don't, DJ, I don't know though. about all this. No, but look at Kabam and Aurora. They're rotating in. They're actually going to go on to Kiki there. I don't know if it's enough damage. DJ Perticus got eliminated. Kiki, he's so low. Roman and Victor, one hit. Meerkat finds the return kill. Nice spear gun as well, doing some decent damage, but they're over committing here. Meerkat has got to get away from this. He beads and travels through the portal. He, he heard your cries, DM. He's going to back off. Tower still remaining in mid, and that's going to allow Cognitive Gaming to retreat successfully. Good trade, IMO. Good trade. Uh, we see Radis Oscar for his third death go down. Not that big of a deal, but Hades, who was 3-0, that's a lot of gold. That's a that's a huge chunk of gold. It's also going to shut him down. I mean, he, uh, the higher level you are, the longer your respawn timer, which means Hades is going to be missing out on farm for, I believe, about 35 seconds with such a high-level death. We can coming over, splitting this camp. I love the fact that he used his abilities to get there as fast as possible. Utilizing Bumba's mask is like the surefire way to keep yourself ahead in the game. And ahead he is taking a look. He's he's got about 800 gold on DJ and highest level net worth right now. I didn't expect that he would actually be the most valuable player right now. Especially considering, you know, how far ahead that Kiki's gone. And Kiki, speaking of him, he's going double stacking. Well, he took all that gold. I don't even think he had rank one of that at first. Did I was he? more thinking of how much time Weekend spent standing next to a wall trying to kill Meerkat. That shows how strong his farm is. Yeah, I mean, that's been multiple times this game. All right, so there was a lane ward. It just wore off, but it would have spotted Kiki's rotation to left. But it, even if they do, I mean, Allied doesn't really have any turn potential here. No, Allied has done a great job in this lane as well. Every time we really tune in, he's boxing out Kabam, when realistically you expect Kabam to have dominant control of this lane until about this point where Allied is very safely clear with just his in-hands. But so far, Allied has been bullying Kabam and Dude, forcing him out. This guy just loves sitting next to walls. This is weakened strategy. I'm just going to sit here, and if they make one tiny mistake, they're dead. Yeah, his blink's online, 
and every time his blink is off cooldown, he's looking for fights like this. And it's obviously not always Meerkat. Cyclone Spin rotating over as well. Meerkat gonna follow it, but they baited Meerkat with this rotation. Wow, look at this. A lot of damage coming through. He's gonna be forced to Eagles Rally pretty soon. Will Ragnarok catch it? One auto attack. There's the Neath Arrow trying to deter, and he, Ragnarok does lock Meerkat in place. Is it gonna be enough damage? It doesn't look like it is. No, Incana. He's actually gonna steal that away. Best getting zoned up by Kiki. Forced to portal out. DJ's in the air, though. DJ's maybe looking for a counter initiate. This? He no. needs a few more seconds here for his uh, dash to come back online, but he's not going to take it. In fact, not even going to go for his back camps. Very strange. No, and allied like he always does. When a team fight breaks out in mid or right, he's going to rotate, cover the options, starts pushing mid lane as the rest of AFK focus down the solo lane. Are they going to look for tier two here? Is that is that what they're going for? It looks like there's going to be a, a counter push in mid. I mean. If Cog doesn't choose to defend this, I would take it, and that's that's what it looks like. It is only Aurora sitting here. Best DJ now rotating over. Kabam is actually split pushing on the left, and no one's backing to fit. Oh no, no they're uh, allied. Allied backed. has backed already. Yes, uh, they're still going to push in though. It is a two v four. Aurora not going to find the belly flop damage. Yeah, they're not going to. It looks like AFK though. Giving respect to Cog, they're going to back off here. Allied's rotation also going to stop Kabam split push. So tier one for tier one. Yeah, honestly, that's still a better trade for AFK. They're already in the lead, so trading out structure damage and maintaining their lead is very key here. Al Allied, Allied got tier one in mid, though. I forgot about that. With his rotation, he was right. able to nab that tower. That's right. Uh, left side camp, good to go to AFK as well. Gold Fury respawning 15 seconds. Cog must defend this successfully. They're all grouped up in mid. AFK gaming, though, recognizing the timer on that. Uh, almost all back. Start spinning their gold. Heart Ward completed for Incontinentia. Allied's actually starting up the Fatalis build, which we don't often see on Jablanke, but he made great use of it uh, last week or last game. Weekend right now back into the base. Going to spend some more gold. Is the Deathbringer online? Oh, boy. That's a lot. Things are about to get real bad for that Ratatosker. Yeah, Gold Fury has spawned. You can see Weekend coming up mid lane. AFK Gaming, that's likely to be their next focus here. And even, you can even see Cog. They know it's coming. Five members grouped up in the left-hand side jungle. You see top player damage right now belongs to Meerkat. Thanks to that Mystical Mail doing a lot of work. He's Cyclone. done a fantastic job against Cyclone Spin. He controlled yeah. that lane. Even with all the weakened ganks. I mean, uh, by all means, win, win lane. Win game? Question mark? We're going to find out here. Meerkat forced to bees again very early. Brutalized doing well. Lo oh, Meerkat, uh, a ton of damage. I was going to say a lot of damage coming out from Best, but that was like the tickle attack. Yeah, that's that's not going to be nothing. That's just his level. Right now, Best is so far behind, two levels behind, uh, three levels Whoa. behind his mid laner. They're going for it. Let's see if the tickle monster can step it up here and try to make the save. Aurora's going to be looking for a big jump here. Blink is, he does not have Blink. Pernicus from the back line. Nikon. Kiki, Kiki uh, kind of leading the pack here. Keeping his distance, though, at the end there. Aurora, no, missing his jump. This is trouble. Yeah, that's that's another missed jump. And now Aurora, he has no way to get out, but he does take that portal. Incon, looks like he's just bodying the front. DJ Particus, he's locked down. Meerkat does not find a big stun there, but he can use the protections. DJ Particus very low, looking to jump back in. Where's he going to land? And it is actually on Kiki in the back line. He gets one jump. Weekend does take out someone. Kiki, though, he's going to find DJ trying in the back. Kabam boxing out Ally. There's oh, the get the shield, shield, though. Yeah, Kabam's going to have to back out of this one real fast. Two for one in favor of AFK, though. So now Incon can tank up once Ally resets this to him, utilizing not only his lifesteal, but the lifesteal coming out from Seething Howl. Can we check out Fenrir here? He is level 19, Kabam. so it's obviously going to be very close, uh, but it is maxed. Kabam here, he's going to try and steal. He only he's gonna has get a killed. spirit arrow. He hits it on the Cyclone Spin. There's Ragnarok. AFK secure the Gold the Fury. Beats. Kabam forced to beats out. He's actually run Best is running at this, but Kiki has come back from base. Yeah, and AFK just going to take that win. Yeah, well, not only did they get the Gold Fury, but that was a three-minute beads on Neath. She is now a sitting duck in the next engagement. Should she put herself out of position, she will be killed instantaneously. One thing I'm really surprised at, speaking of actives here, is that Aurora has elected not to go into Blink, so I feel like he doesn't, he didn't want to go Blink to begin with, but the fact that he is forced to jump in to initiate right now is, is really hurting him. That's why he's died so many times, so just like that last engagement, he jumps in, and then he has to immediately take the portal out, because he has no way to escape afterwards. I'm more looking at the fact that he bought the Shield of Underworld, but he's not tanky enough to really use it. Big uh, fight in Best mid. is taking a lot of damage, and 
Is anyone going to be there to cut off the option? Doesn't even matter. He is dead. Yeah, true damage ticking through. Kiki, level 20 right now. Double stacking is almost maxed out. He, he's, he has no defenses, but it doesn't matter. He's so far ahead of anyone else. He just has that huge... Huge HP pool in conjunction with Warlock Sash and just being a guardian. Aurora's in a little bit of trouble here. Kiki's gonna jump in. Decent damage, not a lot. DJ Pernick is still committing. Aurora trying to send out weak and Shield though coming through. A little bit late. Doesn't actually solve any of the damage problems that just went through. Weekend's gonna be uh, down a little bit, but of course, uh, the Devour Souls heal, cleaning it up. Speaking of cleaning up, Ally, tier two. Not tier gonna be able to get it right here. Incon's be rotated too much over though, yeah. I mean, Kamam's not gonna be able to fight this. DJ Pernicus though, coming in. He looks like he's gonna try and rotate and Adonis. help out this. I love Fatalis. I love it. it. It's fun, right? Dude, I just D love like, it. Like, if you, if you look at the numbers, the DPS, it doesn't increase it, but it's it's just the fact that you have a built-in sprint. If you can hit your autos, it's so hard for not to, not to, mention to lock you down. You can't box. You. Yeah, at all. There's no more boxing Fatalis. I mean, unless you are Snoopy and you hit everything. That was nonsense. I still can't believe he hit that. It, it, it's not only that, right? Autos as well, right? You can box a Fatalis if you can trade autos evenly. It's just so hard to lock it down when that person is basically has no movement speed penalty. A lot of people back into the base. Uh, one by one here, we're seeing a lot of gold spent as well. Uh, Neath. Very far behind that you see a 70-100 gold difference allied uh, level 19 to Kabam's 19, but the gold difference in the build is where things are getting hard. Yeah, 7,000 uh, gold lead right now for, for AFK. And they've been playing this one very respectfully. We haven't seen like super hard dives. We've just seen real calculated play in these engagements. You can see them grouping up though. Four members on the left side of the map. They're gonna be trying to take away this red buff. Again. This is like the fourth one this game. And this is what AFK does. Oh, Aurora, Aurora committing in. super hard here. Kiki Incon. taking a lot of damage though. DJ Pernicus is, is gonna try and go on Incon, but I mean, he's being tickled right now. He has that heart word online. He's working on Magi's and he also has sovereignty. Just so many protections, so much health coming out for this Geb. There is a Titan's Bane on DJ Pernicus, right? But at the same time, you're not getting a lot of damage off. Incon's a very mobile target. Even if you do get the crit with the small amount that you have from that throwing dagger, oh. and remember, Geb's passive. Look at Sir Cat. Look at Sir Cat. Actually, Cyclops, he's going to dive in. He's going to pick up Aurora. Aurora, nowhere to go. He has his jump available, but he's taking so much damage, and Kiki's going to lock him in place. Aurora's Meerkat's dead. locked as well. He's stunned inside. Force the Eagles Rally in place. I don't know about that one. He had to, though. He had Sir Cat poison ticking. Couldn't run to his own team, but DJ Particus dives in 1 5 afterwards. I don't know about that. Best. He's going to have to take a portal through. That's going to be three free kills for AFK. And they're going to keep going here. You see Cyclone Spin moving forward. The tower is just about to die. And look at that. Kiki grouping up everyone, getting the wave together and healing his team up. Cyclone Spin barely took damage, and he tanked it the whole time. Best no ults. He does have beads and Aegis. It's going to really be up to him and Kabam to try and do this. There's the beads force. He may die before he can even get to his base. Kiki wow. takes him out. They're not even going for the Phoenix. They're, oh, okay. I almost thought they were going to dive Kabam and Fountain. Nothing to pull him out of it, though. AFK Gaming, four are dead, and now they're going to take this left-hand side Phoenix. Now their choice is, do they go for the mid-tier two? they go for Gold Fury? I, it I looks think like, it's tier two into gold. Yeah, it assume. looks like Allied wanted gold, but Incon calls the tier two. They're going to go right in, take it down. Another 1,500. Yes, Papa Incon, whatever you say. Lead me to victory. Oh, we actually have a jump in by Cyclone Spin, trying to find Fire Aurora giant? once again. Uh, Aurora, he needs... He got Shell, actually, so he had Shell for that last engagement. That's true. I, I really would have liked to see him die Blinker Beads, because right now, Kiki's just been shutting him down, and there's been no way for him to respond. That was awesome. They leave the speed buff on the ground for Cyclone to pick up during his escape. That's so smart. Uh, Weekend gonna get his own speed buff. It's actually very uncharacteristic uh, to let anyone besides himself take the speed buff. I expected him to take both. <laughs> just just double stack it just because he can't. There's, there's Weekend, absolutely no need for it. Weekend flips out. Have you ever played with Weekend and you take his speed buff? He loses it. I mean, that's... Speed buff is love. Speed buff I is know, life. You don't gotta tell me. Man. Like, speed buff is the greatest thing ever it's for the a worst jungler. part about Solo. We never get that thing. <laughs> sometimes, so sometimes you steal it away. You're like, I don't know, man. They counter jungled oh, us. I lagged. A lot. They, they counter jungled us. You're glowing orange. I took theirs. <laughs> <laughs> AFK Gaming, uh, after that huge swing in the lead, they're going to grab this Gold Fury as well. We'll take a look at the graphs as soon as this is taken. Yeah, 13,000 right now. That's going to be extending to 15,000 after this is secured. 
Things are getting real bad. 20k experience too. Things are getting real bad. Nobody level 20 right now except for Kabam on the side of Cog. He's 1-0-1, but the rest of the team is just getting decimated. Speaking of decimated, Cyclone and, and Meerkat are boxing out, and Meerkat you can't taking run a from decent me, boy. amount of damage. Geb rotating into this as well. They might be able to force his ult. Yeah, did there you, it is. Did you see what Cyclone Spin just did? He gets three auto attacks as he chases Meerkat. He runs into the wave. Then Cyclone Spin attacks the wave two times to get his runes back, and then jumps back in with the Unchained Stun, forcing the Eagles rally. So smart. Speaking, ooh, DJ Pernicus, he's gonna get up to the air. Auto, if that auto attack got off, it might have been the end for him. Um, he's yeah, that the twenty percent plus the auto attack damage, especially if it crit, which it could have with thirty percent. That was looking like death. Cyclone Spin might get a little bit caught out here, but there's just not enough damage right now. He's so tanky. Meerkat's gonna get turned on. Incon coming in with a huge Cataclysm Finding 3. Bean's gonna be used all over the place. Ragnarok wasted, but Kiki was there Our to lock place. down the damage. Best actually portals through that wall trying to find someone, but it doesn't matter. Kiki has a triple kill. Can he get a Quadra? Oh, Pernicus taking it down. They stole that. That was a steal. Cyclone. Oh, Best was super, that could have been, a, that was almost a, that, a third that AFK pencil. That could have been a pencil. Best was super low, caught in that ultimate. Oh, AFK though, they take out four, they take out the tier two, and that's actually gonna oh. be an F6, so Cog, a little bit of a little bit of frustration, although they likely would have ended that there anyway. I, I like the fact that they have six. You know, don't sit there and watch your base die. It, it wasn't gonna turn around at that point. I mean, you were, you were dice rolling. It's better to go into the next game with a fresh mind like, all right, we gave that one up. Let's refocus and think about what we're going to do for game two. Yeah, it was very interesting, too. And, and looking back at the draft, the Neath pick for me, I really wanted to see them use it offensively. But the whole idea was a defensive mind just to make sure that Weekend didn't repeatedly kill Meerkat. And what a way to start this off, right? Allied getting a kill on the Shiba Lanke. They roamed into the jungle. They wound up taking the whole jungle off of it. Uh, DJ Pernicus almost getting picked off as well in the end there. It was just really a lot of trouble just for that early fight. And once Shibalanke started getting farmed, it was just so much easier for him to just get that farm away from Neath. Yeah, and speaking uh, of Neath, well, not really speaking of Neath, player of the game, uh, it was Kiki, so Fleeky this time. Can you change his name to that, please? Kiki on Fleeky. On Fleeky. I'm so bad at Come this. Come on, man. 9-1-9. Nine, nine. Uh, I'd say his biggest strength, though, was locking down Aurora in every single oh. team fight. Look at this. I mean, the ults were just flawless, and this is not an easy thing to do. You think a character that has a giant AoE ult that sucks you in should be a pretty easy function, but so many people consider that option, and they are able to counter it, but his ults were always just intuitive to what his opponents were going to do or what they could have done. He locks their options down and then picks up the kills. And not only that, right? Even if he only forces beads off players, then they have to worry this. about Sir Ket. They have to worry about Ragnarok. This was almost the Pinsa kill. He picks up a triple. You actually see best ultimate in there. Gets so low, barely escaped. And then DJ, that kill gets stolen by, by Cyclone. Just such a great play. Such, such a great play to end that game. I mean, his ult locked three people in, forced Best to use even more to get out of there. Best had to go all back to the base. We're going to look at the Alpha Draft top performers here, and I, I think we're going to see a lot of AFK. I'm pretty sure it's all going to be uh, AFK. Kiki sitting at the top, no surprise there. And so going forward, though, into game two, what are they going to do against Kiki? Do they ban away the Hades? I can't imagine you can. Like... It's just like this Hades pick is so destructive for AFK, but it's like there's still so much on the board that you can't allow them to get. That's true. But we